Okay, so evening guys, welcome to another episode or review from the Beat the Berserker, who is me, Matt. And I hope you're having a fantastic day out there, whatever you're doing, whatever you're getting up to. Weekend tomorrow, I've got a few days off from work, so awesome stuff. Now, I've got another review tonight, something very slightly different, not a beer product, skin product, hair product, t-shirt or anything like that. It's a shield, which you'll notice has disappeared from up there because it's down here. Now... What I'm trying to do on my channel is highlight that there are people out there, whether you're making t-shirts, whether you're making beard products, skin products, hair products, jewellery, pendants, you name it, weaponry, shields and stuff like that. I've done a review for some forged uh, knife and fork before. That to me, personally, in my opinion, it all follows under that crafts, you know? Whether you're making and creating stuff out of needle and thread, leather, cotton, you name it, wood, it's all craft, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm here to kind of like, rather than going out into these massive, huge shopping sites that you buy some homogenous looking thing that's kind of been pumped out in a factory, it's got no heart, no soul, no passion behind it, I'm showing you guys that there is an alternative. Now, I don't have a very good skill set. Last time I tried to use a power saw, I nearly cut my hand off. Um, so I kind of try and leave all that sort of stuff to the experts. And it's about showcasing stuff that they can do and everything else. Now, I have done a review for this chat before. Um, SK Crafts, who's just down the road from where I live here. And you'll probably remember that. That was the spelted or splattered uh, birch bowl that I reviewed a while back, just before Christmas. And I said to him, I said, look, you do a lot of wood. Now, I'm useless okay and is there any chance if you get the time it's not a massive huge thing could you make a shield now I'm not looking at going out and using it don't I want it for a display piece up on the wall here now I have noticed on Instagram obviously where I put the post up to say that I was doing a review tonight how are you going to test it and everything else I'm not testing it because unless you're Stupid enough to go outside using sharp weapons, axes, swords and stuff like that and start hacking in to each other with, sword, with swords and shields and stuff like that. It's not designed for that, okay? I'm sure you can, you, I know you do the mixed MMA of um, sort of medieval fighting and stuff like that and this whole new sort of thing, but this is not for that. This is purely a decorative piece for me. I'm sure if you did want something like that, he would make it because he did say that he had fun while he made it. So shall we have a look? So it's not, I'm gonna put my glasses up there, I'm gonna have a glug of coffee first. So now I'm quite good when it comes to paints and stuff like that, okay? I, um, I'm good at distressing stuff and making stuff look old. So I wanted him to kind of like um, make it up out of wood and do the BB on it for being a berserker and then from there I'm going to do my bits and sort of add to it and everything else like that so I'm just going to take a seat back <laughs> and this is the colossal thing that is made bless him now it's out of pie you can see it on the back I did not want I'm sorry about the view at the moment I didn't want any straps or anything like that across the back because I'm not planning on using it I just wanted it to hang on the wall behind me it's so made out of pine slats, as you can see, and it's braced across the middle in three places. One, two, three. <coughs> oh, coughing fit. <coughs> and turning it round, the beard of Berserker. Now, what I've done myself, personally, and um, this was a flat piece, is I've used uh, a scoring tool that I have, kind of like a hole punch thing, a scoring tool, and scored the lines down it to make it look a bit more slat-like. And this was pure white on here. I am starting to kind of almost look at, make it look a bit more battle worn, if you know what I mean. The plan is what I am going to be doing with it as well is getting a leather, faux leather sort of trim to put around it like that. And you know, you can get those sort of round, they're almost like um, upholstery tacks. They've got the round sort of dome top to them and put some of those in there around it as well and try and make it look, Look a really nice piece. I'm going to 
darken it off a bit more and everything, make it look a bit worn. And I'm, pardon the expression, bloody chuffed with what he's come up because I couldn't do this. And I know a lot of you out there are going to be looking at it and go, well, yeah, it's not hard to do. For me it is, because me and power tools is not great. Unless I'm drilling somebody's teeth out, um, purposely trying to maim somebody with power tools, I'm not very good at it. So if you want me to start doing sort of like nice round circles, it's not gonna happen, okay? So I do leave it to the experts. Now I'm bloody chuffed with what he's done. He's done the whole Beard of Berserker, the same shield uh, that I've got as my YouTube logo. Well, so I've got plenty more work that I'm gonna be doing to this and darkening it, making it sort of like more chipped in places and stuff like that and trying to rough it up and make it look like a proper shield um, which it is a proper, I know it's technically it's made out a word and it's a proper shield but I want to make it look a bit more authentic and shield like and everything like that but I I cannot thank him enough for what he's done here um, he did come and drop it down to where I work but unfortunately I was absolutely rammed at work at the time couldn't get out and lo and behold I went to the front of the house and this was sitting behind there and it was just like my jaw nearly hit the floor. I'm absolutely chuffed with it. Now a lot of you are saying oh it needs to be smaller and everything else like that. Yes possibly if you're going to use it. I mean if you've got this on the back of your arm. I mean let's face it if I turn it around like that you can see if you've got your back of your arm against this possibly slightly smaller and everything. But for what I want it for, absolutely fantastic and it's beautiful and it's going to stay up there on that spot now. It has its pride of place and you'll see it as I'm doing stuff to it, putting the leather trim around it, uh, putting the stud work and everything into it, that I can do small little menial tasks even though I can't do the big stuff. Um, but hey, and I really do appreciate him. And like I say, he, I'm going to put links down below to SK Craft so please give him a look up because he really said he enjoyed making this I'm sure if you want something different different shapes different material smaller bigger battle ready or whatever I'm sure you can do it because he is a whiz when it comes to wood no you're right, not a whiz when it comes to wood but I absolutely like what he's done and I really can't thank him enough and it's a hard job getting myself in the shield on screen um, but you can see where I started sort of like trying to put some darker colours in here just to bring it out and everything like that. But yeah, but no, fantastic piece. Absolutely love it and it's going to stay with me for many, 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 many years. And you never know, if I get charged by Vikings one day, this may well help. And thank you SK Crafts as well for the t-shirt as well, bless you. Matches the shield. And, but yeah, absolutely love it. Nice bit of turned wood in the middle as well for the boss. Um, thing of beauty and like I say it is sitting literally right up here on my wall which is where it's going to stay and without knocking beard balms everywhere <laughs> I am still in shot just about which is good news not good when you're talking to people and you disappear so yeah that <laughs> as you can see is going to sp spend its time there pride of place up there on the wall and you'll see it as I start doing stuff to it and everything like that. Um, that I'm going to try and make it look better. Not that I can make it look much better, but I'm certainly going to have a go. And like I say, a huge, huge, massive thanks to SK Grass for sorting that out for me. I, it's beyond my wildest dreams, bless you. But thank you for that. And he, actually, before I forget, he has got a video on his YouTube, SK Crafts, of how he made the shield and everything else and uh, the process that he went through um, creating all the, the colours and everything else and masking everything off and spraying it and everything. So that's worth a watch. I watched it this afternoon. And so I'm really dead chuffed with it. I Words cannot describe. So thank you very much uh, for sending that through or dropping it off, should I say. But yeah. So, um, next reviews, I've like I say, got the box up there on Monday, which is the Black Label Society box up there. I've also had some new stuff in the post this morning, turn up some beard mail, beard balm, pomade, um, hair clay, and a 
body wash so I'm going to be trying that and seeing what that's like over the weekend ready to review on Tuesday so yeah quite a lot now there might be something interesting happening tomorrow evening I will keep you updated over on Instagram um, I don't know because I was hoping it was going to have turned up today which it hasn't yet um, so it might turn up tomorrow if I'm lucky and I'm really praying it is um, I don't want to go into too much details about it if it doesn't happen and everything else uh, but there could be possibly something amazing happening at some point tomorrow which I'm going to be doing live on here but I will keep you updated on that but thank you guys for watching another one of my reviews well it's not kind of a review it's just it's to say thanks and to how good a job he's done and absolutely brilliant and I love it to pieces and it's kind of a review and I would suggest if you do want a shield made and you have uh, the same skill set as me which is not particularly much at all then get in touch with SK Crafts he's here in Norfolk and he'll make your shield or whatever you like out of wood because he's good with wood and he knows that he could because he's good with wood wood um, so brilliant thank you guys for that I hope you have a wonderful weekend and evening I hope to be on here like I say tomorrow might be doing a live thing but as yet it's a bit up in the air and everything but thank you guys keep on taking care of each other keep on looking after each other keep on growing those beers keep on loving each other and hey it's the weekend so have a great one guys if I don't see you beforehand I will see you on Monday evening for the review have a good one guys thank you